Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I am working on the So Artsy subscription box items, making a junk journal, and I wanted some elements to go in it. In the kit, you get these thread or ribbon holders. There's three of them that come in the subscription box, and I thought I would show you some ideas of how to use those. The first one that I did was I took the cutout and wrapped it with some yarns, that, the fibers that come with the kit. Then I used one of the bulb pins and a charm, added a sequin and some little beads, and then I glued a little button on there, and then I made it a tag so it could hang on the page, uh, and I thought it would be kind of cute. The next one that I made, and we're going to show this a little bit more in depth, was I made an altered paper clip. So I cut a second one, sandwiched the paper clip, added some fibers again, another charm and sequins and a button. So let's do that on this one. So I took this piece and laid it on top of another piece of paper, traced around it and cut it out. I'm okay that it's a little bit bigger than the piece that's going to be on top. I'm going to go ahead and use some distress ink on it and kind of finish that edge just a little bit if it does seem to poke through to the front. I've got, they're cheap. They're from Staples, you know, paper clips. They're the larger ones. They're about two inches, almost two inches in length. You can use smaller ones. Use what you like, what you have. And what I'm going to do is this is going to go on here where the smaller portion of the paper clip is on the inside. So what I like to do is turn it to the back and get it positioned centered. Then I'm going to turn it back over this way and I'm going to apply some glue. I'm going to use some Aline's Tacky Glue and go down the center of that paper clip around, oops, it moved on me, around the outside of that paper clip and then around the edge all the way around and kind of fill that in just a little bit. And then I'll stick these two pieces together. So I'm just going to stack them together. And what I like to do is place it flat on my table and then on the backside push into that paper clip, kind of rubbing it. Those will help it adhere in that spot. And then I'll go around the outside edge and kind of press it together. All right, so there is the piece glued together. Now, if you want to hang a charm off the top of your paper clip, you can always push your paper clip up just a little bit. And if you wanted, you can hang your little charm off of there. And you know what? I think I'm going to do that today just because I told you about it. Why not do it? So I'm just going to poke this through. And it's a little safety pin. And I think it would be really cute. hanging on the top there. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the fibers that are in the kit and I'm going to wrap it around a couple of times. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tail because I wanna make a bow. So I'm gonna wrap it twice, maybe three times, just to kind of give a neat design element, not to be practical that you want a yard worth of fibers here. You can also wrap fabric around it so I'm just tying that into a little bow. I'll cut off the excess there. I'm liking the way this looks so far. And then prior to the video, because it takes a little bit, I used the best glue ever. And I put a little dollop, I don't know if you can kind of see, on the back side. When you squeeze this out, it's white. When it's dry, it's clear. And what's neat about it is then it's tacky. See how it's sticking to my finger pretty well? Then I can put that on top of the fibers and I don't have to worry about it sliding around. And I thought that would be a super cute altered paper clip. Now that can slip over, let me get it on here, your page. And then you could put, I'll just grab a journal card that I made, a journal card right behind it. And then you've got a little decoration on your page. So I hope you liked seeing a really quick tutorial on using those thread holders that come in the kit. You know, if you don't have a thread holder, you can make your own. Norella of Calico Collage has a whole set that you can digitally download, print, and make your own. And this is 
just some ideas of how to decorate them. All right, everybody, if you like this video, please give this a thumbs up and then share this video. It's really important if you like what I do to share it so more people can find me, give me some more thumbs up, get some views on my videos. And if you haven't subscribed, do so. I show lots of great things. Remember, I'm live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m., Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I do different things on those days. I do journals on Mondays. On Thursdays, we do mixed media. Make sure you hit that notification bell at the top so you get notifications when I am on live or when I have uploaded a new video. Check out my Facebook groups by Linda Israel and the Friendly Junk Journal people, the largest junk journal group on Facebook. We have over 20,000 members. It's ridiculous how crazy big it has gotten. And it's all because of fans like you that support me and my art and the love of junk journals. All right. Have a fabulous day, everybody. Thanks so, so much for watching. Bye.